Rappers and welcome to CML Theater Movie Review, home of independent films. Listen, right? Can you imagine this two dynamics? If you take Jumanji and mix it with a Ouija boy and you smash the two together, can you imagine how fucked up that would be? <laughs> well, we about to talk about that right now here on CML Entertainment. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Beyond the Gates. <laughs> Close the gates. No, beyond the gate. Um, the movie was uh, directed by Jackson Stewart. Also written by Stephen Scarletta and Jackson Stewart. Oh man, how can I? This was one odd movie, okay? And the movie definitely reminds you of the 80s movies, but I would say late 80s. I wouldn't say early 80s, but more so like mid and late 80s. But I love the tone to this movie. I love the score in this movie. I thought the beginning of this movie was pretty good, it was well put together. But the movie starts off with Bob and his family. You know, they just open up a store, open up a video store. Because, you know, you can see the cassette tapes. And, I mean, that really brings you back in the day. Remember Blockbuster and all yes. that? <laughs> like, Blockbuster was the in. shit back in the day. Like, before there was Netflix, there was Blockbuster video. <laughs> and a lot of other videos. I, I give props to them, too, as well. So his dad opened up a store. They're putting up the grand opening sign. Everybody's all happy. The two brothers are holding each other. I think it was one, name, one name was uh, John and one name was Gordon. And they holding each other. Everybody's like happy. But the dad face changed quick because he was kind of like... Like you can tell he was <laughs> fucked up. Like you can tell like dad did something wrong. Dad really fucked up. He did something bad. <laughs> this face change. So later on, you know, they go, they skip, you know, forward later on down the road. And next thing you know, you see Gordon and you see John, and they're both brothers. So, you know, the, the two brothers that was there, they noticed that, you know, their father has been missing for quite a while. He just disappeared. No one knows what happened to him. I mean, no one knows nothing, not even a wife. Like, nobody don't know what happened to the dad. So after the dad, you know, disappeared, they, they, everything went up, what, it was like liquidation or something like that? Mm -hmm. um, you know, they had to figure out what they're going to do with his business because he just opened up the business. I mean, not just opened it up. They've been opened up, but they had to figure out what they're going to do with his business. They're going to have to sell the business and sell the damn house. So once the two brothers get there, they end up finding this box in the back called Beyond the Gates. Now, when you look at the box, the box looks weird as hell. It's just like staring at a damn Ouija board box. You know, like when you just stir at the box. Something weird about the Ouija board box because it don't look right. It just You just got the eyepiece. You got the Ouija board. You got the sun. You got the damn moon. And you just got the whiteness all around the box. And the box just looks very uncomfortable. Just even staring at the fucking box makes you just say, hell no. <laughs> we won't go. So next thing you know, they, they grab the box. The brother, um, Gordon looking at John. So John pops it in. He said, I don't know. You know, He said, but well, wonder if it's our parents having sex. He's like... Oh, well, you, you'll see how they first got together. <laughs> so he popped the tape in. Oh, my goodness. And the first thing that pops up is this lady. Now, this is one. Her name is Evelyn. This is one creepy-ass woman. I don't care what nobody say about this movie. This woman got one hell of a pen and stare when she stare. And, and it feels like she's literally looking at you. And it makes you feel uncomfortable because you're kind of like, okay, why? Why? Like that, that don't that feels uncomfortable. So yeah. that thing. <laughs> so the, they end up taking the damn box home. They end up playing the game with the girlfriend because the brother came over, which is you know the, the um, brother John. He's kind of like you know well, he was like homeless, right? Yeah. Like, he was living outside or whatever, and just living day to day, you know, trying to um, survive. And his other brother ended up being more fortunate, so he told him come over for dinner, and you know, so they got together. They start playing the damn game, and that's when everything turned upside down. Now, what was so funny about this movie, when they started playing the game, so they popped the VCR tape in, this woman, she will not say anything. And what's so funny, she will stare at them. And they'll be staring back at her. And they're like, do you think that's weird? That she's literally staring at us? So they end up... <laughs> <laughs> shit got creepy around the house. The one good brother, Gordon, saw some creepy shit. Was like, I'm not going to lie, that scared the shit out of me and my wife when that... That shadow was just staring at him when they just how they went to it. Mm -hmm. And what was more crazy is that the other brother woke up, the wife was um, sleepwalking, so because she has a sleepwalking problem. And they all downstairs and they like, you know what, I woke because I heard something. Gordon, like, I woke because I saw something. So they end up calling the cop over the house to, to check out the tape because they like they think the tape has something to do with the father because the woman ever then mentioned something about their dad. So next thing you know, <laughs> the cop is looking at the tape, he's like, Oh, pop it in. So they started at the tape, and there's nothing. The woman is there to the three that's playing the game because they already started the game. But the guy, 
couldn't the cop couldn't even see what the hell was going on in the game. He said, "Good, good joke, guys. You know, I had a long night and this is crazy." So he left. They're like, "He didn't see that." And the other brother <laughs> is tripping out. But the movie reminds you of Jumanji. If you have not seen Jumanji, then I don't think that you're gonna quite get this movie. But like, once you start the game, you have to play the game all the way through. And it turns out that no one has never survived the game. And what the game does is that if you do not try to play the game, shit will get bad. If you play the game, shit will get worse. So it's no way around it. But before I can say anything that, before we even get any further than that, let's get this movie a rating, shall we? I give this movie a big ass smiley face. Oh yeah. Um, Steven Scarletta and Jackson Stewart really did a good job. Like I said, this movie definitely remind you of the 80s, and I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the tone, and surprisingly, this movie was really bloody. I mean, the same guy that played in Siren, remember the main villain? He's in this movie, too, and he has his little parts in there, but I really felt sorry for him. Like, when they <laughs> found that poodle dog. <laughs> <laughs> then they had to get in the keys. The task was one of the one of the tasks in the game was they had to get the key, but the key was buried in their house. And it's so funny that on the board it looks just like their house on, on front of the board. So they end up having to dig it up, and they end up stabbing his dog. But it turns out that this guy is getting killed in the bar in front of everybody. His stomach is opening up, his guts and shit flying out. This movie was bloody. I, that's one credit I definitely get to this movie. It was bloody. It was cool. I love the two brothers. I love them. I love Evelyn. Her pen and stare is scary as shit. <laughs> <laughs> movie is off the chain. Check this movie out. Beyond the Gates. I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. It was amazing. It's up my alley. I love 80s films. Um before I assign this thing off before I get out of here, I just want to let y'all know that I like to apologize and, and say sorry to you guys because I I know y'all usually see a video every other day that's up, but I'm busy with so many shows. I have uh two other channels that I'm working on and almost Actually, what? I have three because it's this one, mm -hmm. the other two channels, and then I have another channel coming up, and I'm just working really hard. You know, I got shows going on. I got different things. So if you guys want to keep up with me, other than just in CML, you can, but CML always will be my first because this is my firstborn. You know, I got to keep shit real. Gotta do my thing. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna keep some things coming. I'm still waiting for some releases to come out because a lot of these movies, a lot of these good horror movies, is coming before the year out and I'm waiting for it but it's just taking so long like the one Santa movie Secret Santa I am waiting for this movie this movie remind me of a grindhouse film and I just can't wait to dig into this movie to give it to you guys and let you guys know what the hell is going on so do that and then don't forget to subscribe to um, Chris Games Oh Yeah and don't forget to subscribe to GTVA5 if you into that type of stuff if you into like video games and stories and stuff like that because I do stuff like that that's kind of like my thing that I do too but movies is my number one so I'm just letting y'all know movies my number one just like y'all y'all never be my number two y'all always be my number one <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to leave a comment let me know what you think about beyond the gates because i told you what i thought about it i thought it was awesome i got an 85 tour it's bloody it's cool it's awesome and i enjoyed it i loved it oh yeah yeah sorry about that and don't forget <laughs> thank you boss don't forget at amazon you can watch this movie you can check this movie out right now on amazon um you can rent it for 6.99 and you can buy it for i cannot think of the price to save my life <laughs> but check it out you can, it's out right now it's available check it out like i said i do it was awesome if you love that 80s vibe this is right up your alley and to all my movie lovers i love you